So what are some of the unrealistic expectations a law grad might have, even from a top 14, and yeah. what is realistic? Well, I mean, a lot of students would come in their first year and they would say, I want to do international law. And we would say, well, do you know what that means? What does international law mean to you? And no. And so, you know, I think there were also a lot of idealistic students who wanted to, you know, save the world. And um, they, it, it took a lot of time to sort of educate them as one else what the potential paths were. Um, and there are a lot of jobs, you know, the really like exciting, cool legal jobs, like in-house counsel for a, you know, NFL team, you don't do that right out of college. I mean, out, out of law school. Um, so sort of educating them on the paths that it would take to get there. And then of course you had students who just wanted to make a lot of money and go to a big firm right out of school and wanted to go to a top firm in New York city, but were you know, barely getting a 3.0. And so that's, that's not realistic, even coming from a top T14 school. Of course not. Of course not. International law. I love that one. It's like, there's no such thing. <laughs> but there, there, has to, there needs to be a word in between international and law, whether it's, you know, human rights, corporate, it's got to be something in between there. Right. Not just stuff they do at the UN. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.